All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Happy Sunday. Uh, a day like this, the Lord, our our Savior, He entered into Jerusalem, and people, the crowd, thousands of people, they were praising Him for all the work He has done for us. Uh, so we enjoy uh, uh, remembering what our Lord does for us, and we are not only remembering Him, we are so proud that we are following Him. The only thing can make us proud about that we are following the Messiah. Otherwise, we have nothing to be proud about. Today, our topic is about Muhammad and the symptoms of the mental disorder of Muhammad. And I challenge all Muslims, including those who they call themselves Ustad in Indonesia. I am an Ustad, and today I'm going to teach you. And the Ustad, none of them dare to call me. And those who call themselves scholars, they are busy giving fatwa about brother, can I shave under my arm? So when the question is very silly, all the Muslims voluntarily, they became scholars and they will answer you. When the question is serious, the Muslims disappear. And today our questions are serious. Was Muhammad mentally ill? The answer is absolutely yes. And we will not use a single story it is not approved by Muslims. Approved, not only in their books, approved. Take a note of the word approved. If we go over the life of Muhammad, an old man who suddenly, he want more wives. So he made verses in the Quran saying, any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can if her. The Muslim, they say here the word not if her, to marry her. Ah, uh, okay, so he will marry her, but he will not if her. Hmm. When a Prophet, he made a verse like this. And the whole verse saying, it is lawful for you to if the following. Your wives, they are his wives already, your God. I mean, this God, he is so smart to the point. He is saying to Muhammad now, after Muhammad is sleeping with his wife for the last century, hey, Muhammad, you can have boom, boom with them. But he is doing both. They are his wives. Are you a donkey or what? And then, did, did that stop? No. And the, the slaves you capture in war. Oh, okay. So Mary the cook, she is a slave. So it's not lawful for him. So why he was sleeping with her? No answer. And those who Allah assigned to you, those are Allah assigned to him. No, yeah. And the daughter of your uncle, and the daughter of the daughter of the uncles, and the daughters of your uncle aunts, and the daughter who the, and any women who immigrated with you, who dictate and look at the first translation, her soul. Muhammad is going to have sex with her soul to dictate her soul. In Arabic, it says nafsaha, and the word nafs coming from the word soul. Yes. But nafsaha mean herself. Dictate herself. What exactly she would dictate? Her vagina. What does this have to do with God? And any woman she dictate herself to the Prophet so he can if her. And in Arabic it says, yes, thank you, which means if I in G. Not Muslim they say marriage. Well, marriage you do it only a ceremony once and that's it. You don't do marry her every day. So he can F her non-stop. What does this have to do with God? How in the world this God is God? I mean, the Muhammad already have tons of wives. And now he is making verses saying those and those and those and those and lawful for me. And in the top of that, any woman she gave herself to me. That is a sign of a sexual disorder. This guy, he liked to own as many as he can. He never have enough. He liked to be the playboy and women are around him as many as he can collect yet he cannot have sex with them it's a proving that Muhammad is sexually incapable And the proof very simple actually first of all muhammad he could not have kids and the muslim they say oh he have uh, he made his uh, slave mary uh, have a child yeah, she, this is a slave she sleep with everybody muhammad he have 13 wives he could not make one of them 
have a child. All the children of Khadijah are the children of the previous husband. The only one actually even the Shia considered to be his real daughter is Fatima. But Fatima is not his daughter too. And this is why there's a verse in the Quran where it says that there's a man, he accused Muhammad that he is after. He is cut off. The Muslim they say cut off because he cannot have kids. But the fact the guy who was making fun of him that his, his, his penis is after. And if you read the verses, you will die laughing because Allah suddenly is defending the penis of Muhammad and saying to him, what? To thee we have granted Al-Kawthar and the Muslim, they say this is a fount. Fount of what? Sperm? What does this have to do with the, the guy? He, he accused him to be after, cut off. What the fount have to do with this? Because this is a fount of sperm, maybe. Therefore, to the Lord in a prayer and sacrifice, why he have to sacrifice for what? And he who has, uh, uh, like he, he, he accused you that you are cut off, he have no hope in the future. <laughs> what does this have to do with this? What about Allah making him have tons of babies to refute this guy that he is not cut off? Isn't it the guy accusing Muhammad, making fun of him that you cannot have babies? Can't Allah make Muhammad have tons of babies, especially have many wives? In nine months, Muhammad, he should have at least nine children. Can Allah do that? No, he cannot, for he's a fake God, and Muhammad fabricated this verse. So the Quran record for us that Muhammad is an impotent man, he cannot have a children. And the hadith confirmed to us that Muhammad is suffering from mental issues and sexual issues. As an example, we read in the hadith, all those hadith we are going to read one by one. Let us start from this one. Once the Prophet was bewitched that he began to imagine that he had done a thing, in fact, he had not done. Now, this is a symptom of illusion and a person who is suffering from mental illness. All of us, we knew that, you know, there's people, they do the job as a, they claim to, they can bewitch you. There's people who do practice magic, yes. There's people, they claim they have control of people, yes. But all of us, we knew that magic does not exist. You see, if you read the Bible, the story about Musa, it says that his magic overcome their magic. But this is not a magic in the Bible. This is this is their their understanding that because they are magician, so they thought he did mag magic. The fact Musa did not do magic. Musa, it was miracle from God. This is not a magic. So the Muslims, to explain the situation of Muhammad, that he is mentally ill, they claim that he was bewitched. How bad it was the bewitching of Muhammad. So if you say to a Muslim, oh, you are following a bewitched prophet, he should not be offended. Because here we go, the hadith says that you have a prophet who was bewitched. How bad it was. It was bad to the point that this guy, he think he's having sex, but in fact he did not. Read carefully. The prophet continued for such and such a period of time Imagining that he had slept, had sexual relationship with his wives, but in fact, he did not. In fact, he what? He did not. So when you reach the point that you cannot even be sure that you had sex or not, I mean, how much crazy you are. Because as you know, having sex is not okay. Did I drink water or not? Uh, did I take my medicine or not? We might forget. That had happened to everybody. But thinking that you had sex, but in fact you did not, that is not like taking your medicine. Unless sex for Muhammad was something he do like a drink water, like, you know, it's like uh, take one second, so it's fast. So when Muhammad, he imagined himself having sex, and the one who's reporting this is first-hand witness Aisha, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Muslims cannot say that he this is a lie. They can say this is weak. Can they?
in which stage a human being he imagine himself and this is for a long period some Muslims they say a year some Muslims they say six months but obviously it was for a long time what Muslims will say to us about this And here the Muslim, they will say to you, Christian Prince, you are lying. Chapter 113, verse number 3. When Aisha, she come to Muhammad and she play with his hair, she wants sex. Muhammad, he said, The Muslim translation is very funny. From the mischief of darkness as it is overspread. What overspread? What overspread? This verse is about the penis of Muhammad. Muhammad is claiming that when the penis stand up, that is from the evil of the night. And he is given excuse for Aisha not to have sex with her because his penis obviously is not standing up. Now the Muslim, they will say to you, we challenge you. We challenge you to show us the difference. You are a liar. Where it says that? It doesn't say that, CP. Right? Does it say that or it does not say that? In the tafsir, it says that clearly. If we go on the tafsir, let us see. <clears throat> and I find it really very funny when Muslims, they try to refute us. And what they will say now, like they will say you are lying or they will say that tafsir is lying. What they will say? What do you what do you think the answer will be? They will accuse who of lying. They will accuse somebody, right? Hmm. Let me see. Oh boy. It doesn't say that, CP. All right. Let us see which, you know, we will need to find uh, authentic books. So don't say we are making things up. Because you know them. You know what I mean? You know them. <clears throat> Otherwise, I have tons of books in front of me, actually, right? I can, I can show. But we need to show something. the Muslims like. Okay, just to show you, let me let me show you on the screen how many books I can right now show that this is about the penis of Muhammad. The penis of the man. Waqab من شر غاسق إذا وقب إنه الذكر إذا انتصب it is the penis when it gets hard. Excuse my language. Uh, actually, here, this is like Indonesian book. I'm not sure, but it's in Arabic here. Jami'u al-Sa'adat, Muhammad Mahdi, volume number two, page number eight. Min sharri ghasiqin idha waqab. Ay min sharri al-dhakari idha qama aw dakhal. Which mean, 
from the evil of the penis when it stand and get in. Tafsir <laughs> taburi Let us see what Tafsir taburi is saying. Let us go to al-Tabari see if it says that too. <clears throat> uh, you see, we are showing a reference. Let us see. al mawsu'a Ihya Al-Ulum Quran Tafsir Al-Quran Let us see, hold on, to make it easier to find it right away من شر قضيب الرجل إذا انتصب هذا السي المحرر الوجيز هذا السي this book volume number five I mean, we do not need to show one million book. Those are Muslim scholars and they speak perfect Arabic. All right. Let us see. Uh, here we go. Let me highlight it. Ida Wakaba. Let's make a line. ذكر الرجل The penis of the man. الغاثق إذا وقب ذكر الرجل The penis of the man. Alright. So this is not my understanding. This is not my explanation. And for sure, the Muslim, they will say, oh, it have the other meaning too. Well, there's other explanations saying, no, this is not what it meant. And this is exactly showing us that Muhammad, he did not give them a religion. Muhammad, he gave them a book of confusion and stupidity. Because if you cannot, I mean, if, if things is confused to the point, it's about a penis or it's about something else. I mean, how bad this book is. So what the Muslim, they do today they take what they like and they dump what they don't like so now christian prince he showed them from their books it says it's about the penis when it stand and because muhammad he cannot have sex with aisha as we showed you so muhammad he seek refuge by allah against the standing penis which he cannot have so who, what he said to aisha I seek refuge by Allah from the standing penis. But Aisha is his wife and she is she is horny, she is young. The guy is old. He cannot do it. Huh? He cannot do it. Let us show, uh, let me see if I can get more reference. Give me a second. <laughs> oh boy Uh, I'm trying actually to find the reference and even in English maybe we can find something give me a second um, I mean just additional reference because already we showed you reference right 
but we try to show uh, reference for whatever we say. <clears throat> and it doesn't matter how many references you show them, they will say it doesn't say that CP uh, at the end of the day. We knew it, you know. But as you see, we show on the screen whatever we say, so they cannot play games with it. Uh, mm. <clears throat> All right. Actually, I found the website, but it's not working with Google Translation because I think they loaded inside the website, the, the script, the text. All right, let's see. Soon we will open our Skype if any Muslim would like to call us. And we will see. Uh, sometime you want to find the reference it take extra time but I think I have a better solution let me do this already we showed reference remember but I want to show more It's not enough to show only one reference from one Islamic books. They will say, okay, maybe this uh, scholar, he is an idiot. And uh, this is not a true. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is another uh, book. And actually, this is posted in Indonesian for some reason. I don't know, Indonesian library. It says, Women qawlihi, the tafsir name, the book of tafsir called, Ihya or Ulum al Quran. I will show you the cover uh, after we read this. It says here, ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب قال هو قيام الذكر 
وقد أسنده بعض الرواة إلى رسوله رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إلا أنه قال في تفسيره والذكر إذا دخل وقيل إذا قام إذا قام ذكر الرجل ذهب ثلثا عقله Translation And Allah is saying من شر غاسق إذا وقب the verse Meaning And when the penis stand and get in and been said that when the penis stand of a man, the two third of his brain or the third of his brain is gone. We go down. Hadithu ibn Abbas. And here the Muslim they say to you, Oh, this is a weak hadith, man. They say it's a weak hadith. It doesn't matter if it's a weak hadith. It's talking about the hadith, right? But the meaning is still the same. Qiyam al dhakar The standing of the penis. And now we will show you the cover of the book. And this is Ibn Abbas. He mentioned the hadith as you see. But for sure, the Muslim they will say to you, oh, this is we reject this hadith. But who cares about the reject? You cannot reject the meaning because at the end of the day, it's Arabic. Ahya wa Ulum al Din al Imam al Ghazali. The book name Ahya wa Ulum al Din by Imam al Ghazali. All right. So, if we continue in the madness of Muhammad, Allah He promised him a fountain. In heaven for what we don't know what this fountain for no muslim knows what he would do with it we have no idea but this fountain have a very white liquid and the accusation was about him not be able to have sex and you will notice here muhammad here he is saying that because there is a a bewitching Muhammad, look, look, you, need, you, you need to put the, 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 the verse into the story. Oh, you guys, you don't see the screen? It's my fault. Oh, sorry. Hold on. So you did not see what I was showing in the screen, huh? Oh, boy. Hold on. <laughs> okay, it's my fault. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. Let me put it again. Man, <laughs> oh. where is the page? We I just to close it. Man, oh man. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. We just closed the website, which is having the book, and now I'm trying to find it again. And I, I thought you guys are uh, seeing it in the screen. But too bad. But no problem, it's okay. Uh, here we go. We found it. Give me a second. Now we will put it for you in the screen. Here we go. Sorry for that. This is the book. It's called Ahya wa Ulum al Din for Al Imam Al Ghazali. It says, Al-Imam Al-Ghazali, not a Christian prince saying that. قال عن ابن عباس ابن عباس said في قوله تعالى ابن عباس is the cousin of Muhammad about Allah saying من شر غاسق إذا وقب from the one who enter and stand get in he said 
قال هو قيام الذكر and let me highlight so people can read with me and Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas mentioned in his statement about Allah saying من شر غاسق إذا وقب قال هو قيام الذكر it is the stand of the penis and some they reported this hadith that this is a hadith from Muhammad himself not left Ibn Ibn Abbas only that he said الذكر إذا دخل وقد قيل إذا قام ذكر الرجل ذهب ثلث عقله so Ibn Abbas he is mentioning this is the meaning and then there is a hadith saying that the Prophet said that when a penis is stand the third of the brain of the man goes now let us connect things together and again let me show the page number for this book so whoever want to go and check it out this is page number 96 you can find it all right 96 Actually, most of the page here is speaking about sex anyway. But if you go back to the Quran and try to connect the dots together, we will find that what Ibn Abbas said that this is about the penis standing and Muhammad is seeking refuge by Allah from such an evil thing. I mean, why it's evil? Read carefully why it's evil for Muhammad. From the mischief of those who practice secret art. Okay, what the penis have to do with secret art? You see, I'm trying just to make you see what I see. And from the mischief met of those who do envy. So Muhammad, he claimed, by the way, it doesn't say secret art. It says those who blow on the knot. If you change the translation, you will see how the translator hide many words. Look at the translation here. And from the evil of the dark in night, as come with its darkness. This is not this Ibn Abbas saying this about the penis standing. So what the darkness of the night? And then from the evil of the witchcraft, when they blow in the knots. So what does this have to do with the blue of the knots? Those who do bewitching, they do it only at night? To understand this, we go to the hadith where it says that Muhammad, he was bewitched. And Muhammad was imagining himself having sex, but in fact, he did not do so. You remember? Muhammad was imagining himself having sex, but he did not do so. Let us see the hadith, which we showed you before. The Prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse, but he did not. So here we understand why the verse is speaking about the penis is standing up, the evil of the penis is standing up. For Muhammad saying here that his private part stand, don't you th don't think it's not working, it's stand, but there is evil on it. Somebody, somebody placed a black magic on the penis of Muhammad. So it's not functioning right. His brain too, not only his penis. To the point he cannot have sex with his wives. His penis is not working no more. But Muhammad saying, but this is not because of my fault. Because somebody bewitched me. And this is why the verse Speaking about penis and right away jumping to speak about those who blow on the knot and doing witchcraft. So Muhammad claimed that the witchcraft which plays on his penis is making Aisha unsatisfied. Aisha, she wants sex, he cannot give her sex, and he seek to Allah, refugee to Allah from the witchcraft which is making the penis stand. But for different purpose. It doesn't stand with Aisha. Stand only when he is not with them, when he is imagining, as he claimed. If we go back in the hadith, you can go right now and search the symptoms of illusion. 
somebody he have illusion what is the symptoms you will see that all the symptoms of illusion is exist exactly in Muhammad if you go to a doctor and you say to him I am imagining myself having sex with my wife but I never did is he going to say to you this is because of witchcraft anyone agree with that if there's any one doctor in the world will agree that this is was witchcraft or he will say this is mental illness chemical disorder but maybe this is not enough to prove that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness but the story itself is enough to prove to us because it's coming from Muslim mouth reported by Muslim authentic hadith Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 6063 and Muhammad he claimed and this has shown us how mentally he is affected that two angels came to him and one of them look at this there come to me two men one of them sat near my feet and the other near my head and the one near my feet he asked about the one as the one near my head and he pointed his finger to me saying what's wrong with this man Muhammad himself admitting that there's something wrong with him do we agree in that can you say Muhammad nothing wrong with him what's wrong with this man what the other man said those are supposed to angels coming in the shape of a man the later replied he is under the effect of magic so it's confirmed by Muslims that Muhammad was under the influence of something Muslims they claim it's magic but here we have a problem the Quran confirm that Allah he opened a holy Potter school in the Babylon Tower and the only magic he sent to teach the angels through the angels Harut and Marut is a magic to divorce the wife from her husband to make the husband and the wife and the and and the uh, and and the wife fight so how anyone learned the magic to control the penis of a person when Allah did not teach such a magic chapter 2 verse 102 it says that Suleiman did not follow shaitan and he is not the one who do the falsely the magic but it was shaitan okay how shaitans they did that the devils are teaching man magic such a thing that come down at the Babylon to the two angels Harut and Marut who is the one who taught shaitan magic Allah how he taught him how he taught not only shaitan he taught all mankind supposedly or whoever want to learn he sent two angels their name is Harut and Marut in the Babylon Tower because this is the only elevator exists in the time of Muhammad he heard about the tower it's high so it makes sense here we go to Harut and Marut and this is one of the legions of the Muhammadan about Harut and Marut and the fairy tale stories happen in the tower of Hori Buter. so Allah he sent two angels to teach magic and those magic they do what they teach magic only to cause separation between a man and his wife hmm. which mean a man and the wife they will fight how this magic extend to be about the penis how Muhammad his magic is controlling his mind because as you see in the hadith it says that he was imagining imagining so the magic here is different from the magic we see in the verse because the verse saying clearly that this is something to cause separation between the man and the wife which means they will start fighting each other but here Aisha she is not fighting with Muhammad and neither Muhammad is fighting with Aisha but Muhammad is imagining that he had sex but in fact he did not so where this magic is coming from Muhammad had no answer for it
And then when they said, what's wrong with this man, the other person, he says he entered the magic. The first one asked, who had worked magic on him? The other replied saying, Lubayd ibn al-Asam. Here we go, even they have the name. They have the name of the guy. The first one asked, uh, how did this happen? How he was able to control him? He said he used a comb of hair. <laughs> <clears throat> who in the world want to believe in such a garbage and excuse from Muhammad that he is a mentally ill person because of a magic because somebody has some hair and he control him in the comp of the hair hmm? any Muslim can tell us and how Allah was not able to stop the magic. The Muslim, they say to us, if Allah wants something, he say, be is going to be. How come he is sending two angels and they are having a conversation and then they start looking for the, the camp and they throw it away and this is how the magic went away and always we have to accuse the Jews that the Jews are the one who was controlling the penis of the Prophet and the brain of the Prophet. And here, remember, the Muslims, they say it was for six months or for one year. It doesn't matter. This is their own book. And this is their own say. We don't trust that. However, let us say for the sake of argument, it was only for six months. Muhammad imagining things. How many verses in the Quran Muhammad he received from the devil? Because when you are saying that I am imagining doing things, that means you are under the influence of something false. Whatever it is. How many times Muhammad he imagined himself seeing Jibreel? Actually, in the hadith, not only Muhammad imagined himself having sex, Muhammad imagined himself doing things, but in fact, he did not. And this is Sahih Bukhari. Which means all things Muhammad was doing is imagination. Once the Prophet was bewitched, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing, which in fact, he had not done. So, I saw Jibreel yesterday and he told me Quran. In fact, he had not done. I saw Jibreel yesterday and he told me to do this. In fact, he had not done. How we can trust Muhammad anyway after hearing this? If you are in the court and you bring a proof, medical proof, that there is somebody he imagined, even if this has happened once in his lifetime, that he imagined things happening which is not true. The judge will refuse you to be a witness. You are not legitimate no more. For obviously you are suffering from mental illness. All right? Any Muslim have anything to say? says he imagined himself he imagined now we have tons of reference proving muhammad to be a, 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 a mentally ill person and i will give you some more reference muhammad taking shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage is that a sign of mental illness absolutely there is no way a human being he have little brain he would do this And this is little tiny water, by the way. Even the hadith here in the front of us describe the size of it. So the Muslim can't say, oh, it was running water. Oh, it was a spring of water. Oh, it was river. No, it was not. Actually, this is why they call it Bi'ribidu'a. It's where people, they throw their garbage. And this is a Sahih hadith describing how small this water. How the, what is the height of it? It is the level of the private part. Below the private part. Below the private part and how wide it is 
the guy he even put his sheet in the top of it and he covered it you see it he covered it by his sheet it's so small so imagine you have a small jacuzzi let us find the jacuzzi picture hmm? by the way we are the Arab the first one who created jacuzzi Prophet Jack, Jack, peace upon him, and his cousin Uzi, they come with the idea and then the Western, they uh, uh, copy the, 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 you know, from us. Yeah, Prophet Jack and Uzi. Let us see. I'm just trying to find a picture so we can use. <clears throat> to explain the situation. <clears throat> well, I found many pictures actually, but there's only girls there with the bikini. Oh, okay, we found something. Uh, there's girls too. Hmm. Mm. It's haram, it's haram, it's haram. Okay. So let us say that there is a, any jacuzzi don't have women, man. Let us see here. Well, look like we have no choice. Okay, we will use This one, what we can do. So imagine you are sitting in this water and you are Muhammad. Let us say this guy there in the image here, he is Muhammad. Bees be upon him. And here in the water, there is dead dogs. Not one, it says dead dogs. There's what? Flesh of dogs, which means that dogs are not only dead, they are pieces. So now we are going to throw dogs. Uh, dead dog here. A dead dog, and this is his tail. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Very good in the art of brother. Haram, brother. It's haram to draw anything, brother. Do you know that? It's haram. So this is the dog, ho ho, this is his eyes here, and he is dead, stinky dog. In the top of that, the hadith says, there is women rags from blood. Many of them. Full of blood. From the menstruation of women. In the top of that, there is garbage whatever the garbage is all of this in this small container and Muhammad is showering with it if that is not a mental illness it is what huh if that is not a mental illness this is what Dead dogs, well, we are not talking about living dogs. And remember, Muhammad even said that even living dogs are dirty. If a dog, if a Muslim touch a dog, he cannot pray. The dogs are filthy for Muhammad. If a dog, he lick your dish, you have to wash your dish seven times. The phobia of Muhammad from dogs. But yet we find him jumping in a small, tiny water like this. If you stand, is not even to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to your private part. And Muhammad, he have no problem. To perform wudu so he can pray to Allah. If this is not a sign of mental illness, this is a sign of what? If we go back in the hadith, because maybe a Christian prince is not reading, uh, reading carefully. You know, here we go, it says, I measured 
the well, breathe of the well of Bida with my sheet and stretch it over. Hmm? And he said, it's a measure of six cubits. That's it. And the height is under the private part. So a measure of six cubit, a height for a private part, make that jacuzzi, throw some dogs, throw some garbage, stinky garbage, and throw some women blood from period, and then you will find out exactly what Muhammad was doing. Now, if there is any human being can believe really that this is not a behavior of a mental person. And here you will notice that people, they are asking Muhammad about this because this is strange. Otherwise, nobody will question it, right? If something normal, I mean, why, why people will question? I heard that the people ask Allah Messenger saying, water is brought for you from the well of Buddha. It is a well, uh, you know, and by the way, not only brought for you. There is hadith where it says that Muhammad was doing it inside the water. Let us show it to you. Let's read this one first. It was said, O oh Allah Messenger, shall we use the water of Bida will perform ablution while it's a will in which menstruation rags, flesh of dogs, and garbage is dumped in it? The Messenger says, Indeed, water is a pure, nothing make it impure. Continue. Uh, here we go. It was said, O oh Messenger of Allah, you perform wudu from the will of Bida. Okay. Here it is Muhammad in the will of Bida. Read carefully. This is not the water brought for him. I passed by the Prophet when he was performing wudu from the will of Bida. And I said, Look at the question. Are you performing from it when garbage is thrown in it? People, do you see it? Muhammad now is in the water. And now we have enough reference to know what kind of garbage we are talking about. Actually, in Arabic, it doesn't say uh, garbage. It says, يُطْرَحُ فِيهَا مَا يُكْرَحُ مِنَ النَّتِن Thrown in it what is sick of the stinky things. You see? النَّتِن Stinky in the translation, they just said garbage. It doesn't say garbage actually. The word garbage is not even mentioned there. It says in the throne in it, what is sick and stinky. The response of Muhammad water is not made impure by anything. Somebody saying PC just advice for you. Never let your family see the work you are doing. Uh, be ashamed of you. And my friend, uh, don't worry about my family to be ashamed of me. Be worried about your prophet. Why my, why my family, they will see me jumping in the water, have dead dogs. Uh, well, then they will be ashamed of me. Huh. You see, you are trying to make it about me, but you have no answer for the stupidity in the screen. Instead of being busy about Christian Prince and his family, don't worry, I don't have a family anyway. My, the Messiah is my family. I don't want, I, I belong to him. He is my creator. This is why when we pray, we Christian, we say our father. You see? The first thing we care for is our father. And then whoever believes in that father is my family. So all those people here, they are my family too. And they are proud about me. How's that? very proud about me but i am not proud about myself for i'm just a servant of the lord instead of talking about me muhammadan and this is the only thing you can do what about you tell us what kind of a prophet what kind of mental illness he's suffering from he is jumping with dead dogs women of bloody from period and stinking garbage and yet he claimed that this is clean and yet you are worried about me. 
This is what happened to a Muslim when he sees things which is disgusting about his prophet. He make it about Christian prince. Who care about Christian prince? I am not a prophet. I am no one. Even he don't know who I am. Do you see people following me? Do you see I claim that I have a holy book? I'm a messenger of Allah. No, I don't believe in Allah and his garbage. I am not a messenger of anyone and even even I am a messenger of God I'm no one I'm nobody I'm just a person asking questions and you Muslims you are in disability obviously your prophet is mentally ill it's a clear sign of mental illness even when people they start questioning you about what about your cleaning when a Bedouin man he walk inside the mosque and he unzip and he get his penis out and he start pissing Muhammad he said let him finish when the dogs they go inside the mosque and the dogs start pissing and the Muhammad did not sprinkle water obviously he's mentally ill Jesus he kicked them out from the yard of the temple the yard of the temple not that not the temple you see the temple have many yards far away from the temple itself the Messiah he flipped the tables on them he said you made the house of my father a bazaar Muhammad people they enter his mosque and they piss in the middle of the mosque and Muhammad is watching a dogs passing by inside the mosque of Allah and Muhammad never clean after them isn't it this is a clear of a mental illness Muhammad jumping in garbage. Muhammad imagined that he had done a thing, but in fact he did not. All of this proving to us that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness. My father said that during the lifetime of Allah Apostle, the drugs used to urinate and pass it through the mosque. Come and go. Nevertheless, they never used to sprinkle water on it. On what? The urine of the dogs. What do you say? Is any this is a clear a sign of mental illness? And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, Hadith one, number 174. So not only Muhammad, he lived, he washed himself by blood from period, dog's flesh stinky garbage water yet he have no problem that dogs enter the mosque and they piss inside the mosque he told him tell the man not to do it in the mosque guys after the guy he finished he told him tell him not to do it in the mosque again <laughs> but he done it already Guys, look at this. This Muslim is refuting me. I love it when a Muslim he refute me, brother. You tell half of the story, brother. The Bedouin who pissed in the mosque. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that your word? Yes, brother, it's his word. He pissed where? Where, where? In the mosque. And your prophet was there watching, brother. And he let him finish it. And then after he finished it, he told them to tell him not to do it later. <laughs> A clear sign of mental illness. And if Muhammad, he said to him later, or tell him, tell, tell him not to do it again, because obviously people complain. But Muhammad, he doesn't see a problem. To the point the man he grabbed his penis in the middle of the house of Allah and you are watching and you do nothing and look what you said he told his companion to wash after the man finish <laughs> uh, okay so you Muslims you wash from the piss of a man but you don't wash from the piss of a dog and does, do that make your prophet clean? 
Isn't it obvious that your prophet is suffering from mental illness, my friend? If you are a prophet himself, he shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage and the hadith confirmed that. What kind of cleaning you are talking about? Hmm? Is that the best response you have? Any Muslim have a better response? Why Muhammad was washing in garbage water? Anyone knows? With women blood from period. Dead dogs. Stinky garbage. Anyone knows? <clears throat> Anyone? And as long as Muhammad is protected by Allah, that he will not do stupid things, and he will not be stupid, for everything he receives is from Allah. Was that by the guidance of Allah to jump in a water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period? Allah did not protect Muhammad when he was under the black magic as Muslims claim that he have a black magic. Muhammad for a long time doing stupid things. Actually, I believe all his life is about stupid things. Where was Allah at this time? Who is the one who told Muhammad it's okay to jump in such a water and the water is always pure? Is that the inspiration of Allah? And here we will go to other proof that Muhammad is mentally ill. Muhammad, he used to receive his inspiration from his God. How he used to receive it? The hadith explained to us. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, and the hadith says, narrated Aisha, and you cannot say this is weak, remember, because I know you Muslims, you say it's weak. Anything you don't like, you say it's weak. And by the way, even weak is accepted. Aisha reported that Ibn Hisham, Al-Harith Ibn Hisham, asked the Prophet, the false Prophet, how does the divine inspirations come to you? Eh, very good question. How it come to you, Muhammad? People want to know. Muhammad, he received inspiration from Allah. Okay, how you receive the inspiration? Prophet of Allah. Prophet of Allah, he answered. And he told them how he received the inspiration. In a very unique way, brother. Simply, the first one who discovered this way of inspiration receiving is a prophet Muhammad. He received it as a sound of a bell. He replied, in all these ways, the angels sometimes come to me with the voice of resembling the sound of a ringing bell. What? Ringing bell? Muhammad received Quran as a sound of a ringing bell. Go and go and, and, and see the symptoms of those who have mental disorder. They have the same symptoms. They hear sound of a bell in their head. They hear voices. So now Muhammad is claiming that God he speak to him through his angel. And the way he speak to him is a sound of a bell. Is that Billy Clinton? And then if Allah, he gave Muhammad a sound of a bell. And I want the Muslims to focus here. Did I say focus? It's impossible. A Muslim and he will focus? 
Give it dreaming. Okay, I just said for you the chapter of Al-Fatiha. I want the Muslim to tell me how the angel gave him a sound of a bell and then the sound of the bell became Arabic Quran. Let me give you a chapter of uh, Al-Ahzab. Yeah, it's long. It makes sense. Al-Ahzab is a very long chapter, so it makes sense. How this became Arabic? How the guy, he got a sound of a bell, and then the sound of the bell became Arabic? This is the chapter of uh, Shuku Shuku. What? How does it became Quran? I mean, obviously, your prophet is mentally ill. Hearing sounded of a ring need explanation, because if you receive a ring of a bell. Then, how this has became Quran? Any Muslim? You know, guys, to be honest with you, sometimes I receive inspiration from Allah like this. Uh, this is was Bismillah al rahman al rahim this one uh, and this is was a, a, a shahada and then i receive even more you know Here you notice here the dum 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 dum. This is when the angel was squeezing Muhammad. So what is this? And sometimes the angel he come to me in the shape of a man. Okay, so he give you a sound of a bell, and then and and this is he said this is the hardest on me the sound of the bell. But hold on. Isn't it you, Muhammad, who said that the bell is the instrument of shaitan? Hmm? Isn't it Muhammad who said that? That the instrument of shaitan is the bell? How the shaitan and Allah, they use the same instrument. Actually, even Muhammad, he said, Al-Malaika la tadkhulu baytan or baytan fihi jaras. Angels will never enter the house if there is a small bill in it. Look at the weakness, the phobia. Angels, they hate the bill because this is the Christian, they have a bill. You see how much Muhammad, he hate the Christians? Angels cannot enter a house, have a bill. Angels will not accompany a person who have a bell or a dog with him. So obviously the bell is cannot be something that angels will use. As you see, they are they have a phobia from the bell. So how they have a phobia from the bell and the phobia and the, and the, and, the, and, the, and the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan. Yet when the angels come to Muhammad, he gave him a sound of a bell. Obviously, Muhammad he have mental illness. It's so clear. 
And if you search the symptoms of mental illness illusion, you will see that they hear sounds and they hear voices and they hear the sound of a bell specifically. Hmm? What do you think? All those hadith. All are sahih. And even he said, Fayuf Samu Anni. Read carefully what it says. How does the revelation come to you? He says, like the ringing of a bell, and this is the hardest on me. When it departs, I remember what he said. Huh. When it departs, he remember what he said, but he gave you a voice of a bell. More signs of Muhammad being mentally ill. We have endless signs. Muhammad, he have a symptoms of pedophile. Symptoms of pedophile. A pedophile have a symptoms. It's a mental disorder. Pedophile is a mental disorder. He recurrent intense sexual fantasies, urge or behavior involving sexual activities where the pre uh, 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 someone is younger, a child under the age of 13. Hmm. Let us see if Muhammad he practiced that. Muhammad he married Aisha at the age of six and he was playing with her legs until the age of nine and then he had frontal intercourse, full intercourse. Here Muhammad is advising one of his men, saying to him, did you, did you marry a woman or a child? Read carefully. The man he been asked by Muhammad, he said to him, have you married? He said, yes. He said, a virgin or a previously married one? The fact that doesn't say really a virgin. Translation here is false. It says a young girl, a child. Did you marry a woman or a child? This is Sahih Muslim, and this is the Muslim translation, and this is the hadith number in front of your eyes, 715. F, because it's about ifing. I married a woman. Who had previously married? Allah Messenger said to me, Jabir, have you married? I said, Yes. He again said, A virgin or a previously married? This is a Muslim translation. I said, Messenger of Allah, the one who was previously married. Whereupon he said, Who said that? Muhammad. Why? Why? Why you don't marry a young child? A young girl. The Muslim do say it says young. It says young girl, not young woman. But let us see, it's not enough in the translation. Is it really a child or maybe a young woman? Because sometimes you use the word girl for someone she is maybe 18. Maybe. Let us see. So why you don't marry a young girl? I'm reading a Muslim translation. So that you could sport with her and she could sport with you. So the purpose now, Muhammad is advising a man who is happily married to leave the, 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 the women who previously married and get a young girl. What is the wisdom of this? So you can play with her. This is Dr. Phil in the American show. Dr. Phil, ta -da 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 -da. Dr. Phil, I am married to a previously married woman. She is now my wife and I like her a lot and I actually I love her. Any advice for me? Dr. Phil, he's saying, why? 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 
Why you don't marry a young one? Hmm. Why? Why? You don't marry a young one so you can play with her and she can play with you. Uh, what? So you can play with her and she can play with you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is the purpose of a man marrying a woman? Oh, sorry, a child? To play with her and to play with me? And he is given an advice of a prophet of God and everything he say is coming from Allah? And then what the guy he said? The rest of the hadith expose Muhammad big deal because it says why he did not accept to marry a child proving that this is a child or could amuse you amuse with her huh? amuse with her with her diaper I said to him you believe it he sent it or you could amuse with her amuse this is the Muslim translation using the word amuse she would amuse you marry a child she would amuse you I said to him, Abdullah died. He fell murder in Uhud. And he left nine or seven daughters behind him. I therefore did not approve the idea that I should bring a girl like them. Like what? Like them. Children's. But I, read carefully, but I prefer to bring a woman who should look after them and teach them good manners. So who is the one who have a good manner here? Muhammad or this guy? The purpose of Muhammad advice is to get a little child. She is in the age of the children this guy is taking care of. The purpose of this man marriage is to bring a woman to take care of those children he have in the home. The pedophile Muhammad. This is his fantasy and this is exactly what the symptoms of pedophile is about. And the man, he got him busted. He said to him, well, I cannot get a child in my house. I have enough of them. You see, all oh, the hadith confirming that. He have orphans to take care of. And here you see the mental illness of this man. And this hadith is clear. Even in the Muslim translation, they say, why? Why you don't marry a virgin girl so that you might play with her and she is play with you or might make her laugh and she make you laugh? I said, my father died having seven or nine girls orphans and I did not like to bring a girl, young girl like them. Like young girl like what? Like them. So I married a woman to look after them, which means she is like them and she needs somebody to look after her too. That is a clear sign of mental illness. What else? Are we done? No, we have endless. Muhammad actually, he tried to commit suicide. Did he? In Sahih al-Bukhari, where Muhammad claimed that he went to the seven heavens and as always, as usual, this is imaginary and there is no witnesses for it, not even a single goat. It says here, and this is the Muslim report in this, not Christian prince, that when Waraq ibn Nawfal, the real father of Muhammad, he died, Muhammad, he became so sad. The divine inspiration stopped. But after a few days, Waraq died and the divine inspiration was also paused for a while and the prophet becomes so sad as we have heard 
that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains and every time he went to the top of the high mountains in order to throw himself down Jibreel appear before him and say oh Muhammad oh oh mommy oh mommy mommy blue oh mommy blue oh mommy oh mommy mommy crazy crazy mommy crazy what's wrong with you man each time the prophet he tried to commit suicide i mean look hold, hold on i mean the story here is astonishing not only proven to us that muhammad mentally ill muhammad he said that the one who tried to, who commits suicide he will enter hell so why he himself is trying to commit suicide And suicide, by the way, here is about killing yourself. But if you kill yourself to kill the enemies, that's why the Quran says, there's a big Muslim cleric, he said, that's why the Quran says, you will be killed and you will be killed. This is what suicide is. It's allowed to do suicide in Islam if you are killing the enemies, but not if you are just killing yourself. But imagine the story here. Let me make it clear for some people, maybe he did not notice what's happening. I have to use my own uh, skills, excuse me, as you know, I'm very good in art. So Prophet Muhammad, he liked to commit suicide. Here we have a road. This is the house of Muhammad in Mecca. It's very thick. Let us make it thin. All right. This is the house of a Prophet Muhammad in Mecca. Prophet Muhammad, he take the road. Prophet Muhammad, he keep going. Let's take this thing off so you can see what we are drawing. Muhammad, he go... To the direction of the mountain brother he keep going 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 and here there is a mountain brother and then here the mountain which is going high And now Prophet Muhammad, he started climbing the mountain, brother. We will make Muhammad in the color blue. Because they said that they blow in the knot on his private part. So Prophet Muhammad was here. Then Muhammad, he climbed, he is here. Then 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 he climbed, he is here. And then he climbed, he is here. And then he climbed and he is here. When Muhammad reached the top of the high mountain, brother, Zibril appeared for him. Who? Zibril. Let us make Zibril a red. This is Zibril. Who have 600 wings. Appear in front of our prophet Muhammad. Muhammad now is going to jump. Muhammad is... Okay. I'm going to jump now. And then in the last second before Muhammad, he jumped, Jibreel, he hold him from his panty. He says, stop, man, stop it. Listen to me. Listen to me, Muhammad. You are a truly, truly a prophet of Allah. And the hadith says upon that, the prophet, he cooled down, he come, and he go back home. He go where? Back home. So the prophet, he cooled down? Yes, brother. He go where? Back home. Okay. Read it. He said to him, Indeed, you are messenger of Allah, where upon that he would become a quiet and he would come down and return home. But the story is not over. And whenever a period of coming inspiration used to become long he used to do as before look like, what the heck so imagine this 
Prophet Muhammad, he like it. From time to time, he have to repeat the same steps, brother. What steps? He leave his house. He come down now. He's coming down. Go home. And then, brother, Muhammad second day or fourth day, whatever, he leave his house. He walk. He climb. He go up. He go up. He go up. He go up. Going up. Almost there. I'm so tired. And now he is going to throw himself. And then the ends is real. He appear in front of him again. I mean, look at the stupid story. Can Jibreel appear in front of him when he is down here? In front of his house? I mean, why you wait until the guy, the poor guy, climb the mountain? Can't you appear for him when he is downstairs? Say, Muhammad, Habibi, Muhammad, where are you going, Habibi? Are you crazy, Muhammad? What's wrong with you? Didn't I tell you last time that you are a prophet? Huh? Muhammad Khabib, listen to me. If you go back home right now, Allah will give you a lot of candies. And not only candies, baklava. And not only baklava, back and lava of hell. I mean, how stupid this angel is. He wait until the poor guy climbed the mountain. All the way to the end to say to him, you're a prophet. Why you don't say to him before he leave the house? You know he's going to commit suicide. And this is telling us that Muhammad, he tried many times to commit suicide. If this is not a clear sign of mental illness, all those things we mentioned, what is mental illness then? So let us, let us uh, uh, like remember what we say. Muhammad imagined himself having sex. This is not mental illness. Muhammad was bewitched according to the Muslims. This is not mental illness. Muhammad receiving his inspiration of God in the ring of a bell and then it turned to be Arabic in his own. That means Muhammad is making Quran in Arabic, not, not Allah, because Allah he gave him a ring of a bell. The Quran today we should have, it should be saying, this is the Quran. You're a prophet, he said clearly, he received a sound of a bell. A Muslim, his name is Islam, mean peace. He's saying to me, you don't understand. Explain to me. Guys, you don't understand. You don't understand. The guy is committing suicide and you are telling me you don't understand. And he tried to do it many times. You don't understand. The guy, he imagined himself having sex, but he couldn't. He did not have sex. And you are telling me you don't understand. And we can mention tons of stupid things, Muhammad said, like the black dog is the devil. Uh, women are half a brain. Obviously, this is a sign of mental illness. This person is suffering from a lack of intellect and his brain is suffering badly. We will wait for Indonesian Ustad to refute us. All those things lead us to one thing that Muhammad obviously officially he is not only mental illness suffering from, he is pedophile. And this is a symptom of a pedophile who you know he encouraged even men around him. Not only he like it, he encouraged men around him to have sex with the children. Not only him, he like it. He promote his ideas that this is the right thing to do. It's the fun to do. Now we are asking the Indonesian Ustad, all those who collect big salary from the poor Indonesians, who of you have the courage to call me? 
The only one we call, we get receive call from is a bunch of idiots. They don't know what they are talking about. Who is here a scholar? He would like to call me. Two hmm? a.m. in Indonesia. Yeah, it's my fault. I, I you know, I, I started late. Uh, uh, but what we can do? Actually, I was planning to go in the other channel in the quality of life. And let me take a uh, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, uh, you know to our channel here. But we have another channel if you like to subscribe to it too, where we speak about different topic. Usually. All the weekend I go there, I don't come here. It's called the quality of life. So usually we go there <clears throat> in the weekend, and today is weekend. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, I said to myself, let me spank Muhammad a little bit because my hand feels so much comfortable. I mean, pfft, I'm disgusting. You know, I, I like to leave my, my, my finger marks there. How many spank we did to Muhammad today? And Muslims, they have no answer. The only thing they will complain about. Oh, we don't agree with this story. Oh, this has, this is a Bukhari. Oh, this is a, the, 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 doesn't say that, CB. No answers. This is their books. This is their ink. This is even their translation. Prophet who want to kill himself. And the funny they say, they say to you, Christians, oh, your God, he killed himself. False. False. Even your Quran confirmed that the Jews, they are the one who supposedly tried to kill Jesus. It's not Jesus came to them say he killed me. When somebody kill himself, is somebody grabbing a knife or throwing himself like Muhammad here, from the top of the high mountain? And. We have tons of reasoning to believe Muhammad is mentally ill. You know, when there is a prophet, he claimed that God, he spoke to him, and this God, he said to him, any woman, she can give herself to you. I mean, who in the world can believe in such a garbage? When a prophet, he believed in legions like Harut and Narut, that they are angels sent by God to teach magic in the Babylon Tower, the open Hori Buddha school, obviously he's mentally ill. When a prophet of God, he believed that there is a guy, his name is Solomon, and the Solomon, he used to have a flying carpet, and this carpet fit for 600,000 chairs. Very small. My grandfather flying carpet was bigger. And all his horses and his kingship. When a prophet, he claimed that there is a prophet who his wife have sex with Shaitan, all his wives. Shaitan took the look of Suleiman and he took the ring of Suleiman and then he kicked Suleiman out of his palace and then he started doing boom boom to the wives of Suleiman and how the wives of Suleiman discovered that this is not their husband they noticed that the boom boom of this guy is one billion way better than the boom boom of Suleiman. Makes sense. I mean, come on, the guy is Shaitan. You want Shaitan penis to work like Suleiman penis? No way. So this guy Shaitan, he starts sleeping with the wife of Suleiman and he starts doing boom boom to them. And those women are like, wow, what happened to our husband? What happened? This guy, he never have enough. One after one. And then they reported the him to the elders of the kingdoms. And then Shaitan, he noticed that he knew that he him, and he ran away and he threw the ring in the ocean. And then how Suleiman he get the ring back? Who know the story? Come to daddy. Let us tell you a story. Brother, Suleiman, he went and he saw a guy buying fish. He worked as a porter. He told the guy, Suleiman became poor now because they kicked him out from the palace. Suleiman told the guy, uh, 
If I carry the fish for you to your home, what do you give me? He said to him, I will give you two fish. Suleiman, he agreed. He carried the fish for the guy when they arrived to his house. The guy, he gave him back his wages, two fish. Suleiman, the poor guy, he went home. Now he's tired and he opened the fish and he found his ring. Where he found the ring? Inside the fish. Which ring? His ring. The ring of the Lord. Which he can control the world with it. <laughs> this is a prophet of God. This is a prophet of God. Huh? Brother, don't you think that this ring is something special, brother? Actually, maybe we should go next time, live on air, and we speak about the ring of Suleiman. Now, how many of you, by the way, did watch my previous video about responding to the guy, his name is Fifi. Not responding, I just got to get him busted. Uh, don't forget to download it and post it in your YouTube. If you don't know how to find it, you can go on my Facebook, you will find it. You can go to Patreon, you will find it. You, there's many uh, YouTube pages, they copy my videos, you can find it there. I just made it yesterday. Now, how many people today they would download this video? Let us see how many of you, because this is a very important topic, proving that Muhammad is mentally ill. And if those proofs we provided that Muhammad is mentally ill is not enough to prove to you that he is obviously mentally ill, I mean, what else can be providing to you? He imagined... The Muslim agree that he imagined things he had done, but in fact he did not, which means he's illusionate. This is confirmed by the Muslims. Even he imagined that he had sex, but in fact he did not, which means even his sex, the things became so tough on him. He became so much under the influence of the devil to the point he don't even know if he had read sex or not. He advised people to have sex with the children, and he himself, he practiced that. He tried to commit suicide. And in the top of that, Muhammad taking shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. All those things he put it together, additional to making verses about his sexual preference, privilege, money, uh, uh, fantasy. God, he gave him the best of uh, the booty. God, he gave him the fifth of booty. Uh, God, he gave him a special uh, fountain in heaven, special place in heaven. Uh, God promised him Mary, the mother of Jesus, to be in his bed. Imagine how faith he is. Imagine, even Mary, she is not saved from the fantasy of this filthy man. A woman who is exact 600 years before him, he said he claimed that Allah, he promised him. When Khadija, she was dying, Khadija, he said to her, uh, Hey, Khadija, don't forget to say hello to my wives. She said, did you marry before me? Mm -hmm. What this guy is saying? Khadija, she was shocked. Like, what he's talking about? You marry before me? Because supposed to he, he, she is the first one. He married her because she's old and rich. So soon she will die. He will take the money. And this is what happened. He said, no. But Allah, he promised me uh, the, uh, the, the Pharaoh women and uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus. Look at this filthy. Allah, he promised him the women of the Pharaoh and Mary, the mother of Jesus. And he is saying to Khadija, please say, send my greeting to my wives in heaven. They are waiting for him. If this is not a sign of mental illness, what is the mental illness then? My wife is dying and now I'm saying to her, say hello to my wives. Are you making fun of her death? Are you confirming that you are dying? Instead of saying, no, you will be fine. Don't worry, I'm here with you. I pray to Allah to save you. To eat. No, say hello to my wives. You are dying. Go, yeah, get lost. Finally, huh? say hello. Don't forget to say hello to my wives there. You have the reference in my book. You can have it. If you have my book, Six and Allah, you will have the reference, all of it. So uh, uh, leave a comment under the video here. 
and uh, uh, tell me what next topic you want know, to talk about. You like to talk about talk about the ring of Suleiman? How many of you like to talk about the ring of Suleiman? Anyone? Stop what? Slandering the best man ever walk on earth? Muhammad is the best man he walk over on earth. And what is the proof? He takes shower with dead dogs. <laughs> He have a lot of flies in his head. <clears throat> hmm? He dry his hand in the wall of his bedroom. We have a big casso art in his bedroom after he have sex. This is the best man of mankind. A dog he die under his bed and angels are not entering. Imagine how stinky the house is. I mean, this is the best man of mankind. He advised men to have sex with the children, not with women. The best man of mankind, he advised you to rent a woman for one night to stand, do muta. The best man of mankind, he's a doctor, Muhammad too. Actually, I did not talk about this. Do you know that Muhammad was a doctor? Imagine if Muhammad was existed today and he want to fight Corona. A man, he came to the Prophet. And he said to him, my brother has a bondiminal trouble. Christian Prince, you don't know how to say the word. The prophet said, let him drink honey. The guy did not even, he did not ask him how this happened, how many days ago. That said, give him honey. The man came the second time. The prophet said to him, let him drink honey. The guy, he came third time. The guy is getting worse. The prophet, he said to him, let him drink honey, man. He rented again and again, and he said, I have done that. The prophet, he said, and then the prophet said, Allah has told the truth, and the abandonment of your brother has told a lie. <coughs> Imagine you go to the doctor and you say, my stomach still hurt me. He said to you, okay, a drink, honey. You come second day. Uh, it's hurt me. A drink, honey. It's getting worse. A drink, honey. But it's getting so ugly. A drink, honey. But it's I'm dying. I, I, what's wrong with you? I told you drink, honey. Your stomach is lying. Allah told the truth. And then suppose this guy, he was a cured. Look, look, it says a cured. He was a cured, brother. There's two medicine. Okay, no, hold on. Uh, Muhammad he have another medicine which is a medicine for all disease anyone remember anyone remember <laughs> if you are brother if you are suffering from corona brother we have the solution for corona brother i heard Allah apostle saying that there is a healing in the black common for all disease except death death is disease too all diseases so why you don't give him the comment? This is something he learned later from somebody. Before he stuck with the honey and camel urine. After that, he stuck with this one. All diseases, heart disease, sugar disease, blood pressure disease, AIDS, AIDS, brother. Dig this, you have no AIDS. Allah will AIDS you. This is, will solve all the problem? Yes, brother. Who told him that? Allah. Allah told him that. But this is something the Arab was practicing at that time. And Muhammad, he take from people and he say it, and which is a stupid. And then Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, he knew not only about this. I mean, the guy he knew, why you look like your parents or your father or your mother nobody ever was able to know this except prophet of allah the message of allah said the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parents 
How he knew that? How he knew that? If you have orgasm first, the child will be male and he will look like you. Okay, I was not getting married because I don't want my child to look like me, which is very scary. Now I found a solution. I will never have orgasm first. I will do my best to make her have orgasm first. I will marry a woman. Her name is Aisha. And Aisha, I will do, I will, uh, Aisha, please do me a favor. It's time we do sex. Please, 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 you have orgasm first. Uh, don't worry about having orgasm because you are like Muhammad. You cannot have orgasm anyway. Aren't you imagining? Isn't it this is science? It's a clear science. I mean, what's wrong with you? Even Muhammad, he have a solution for magic and for poison. Yes, brother. Allah Apostle said, he who eats seven ajwa, ajwa is a palm bait, fruit, every morning will not be affected by poison or magic. And guess what? The stupid idiot Muhammad, he was affected by both. He died by poison, and Muslims, they claim that he was under the influence of magic. Do you see it? No, uh, uh, Abdul, they can call me later. I'm not in the mood really to take a call now. That's it for today. Uh, if we come later, how many of you want me to come later here in the Arabian Prophet? Let us make a vote down in the in the, uh, in the the comment and based on those to see how many. If we receive like more than 500 people saying come back, we will go live. If we receive 1,000, I will not come back. Because we Arab, we think in different way, you know. If one million they say come back, I will not come back. We are very stubborn, brother. Very stubborn, brother. Okay, let us make a vote. Who like me to come back? Give me one. If you don't like to come back, give me two. If you like me to come back, give me one. All right. Okay, look like the majority. They like me to come back, therefore I'm not coming back. We are Arab, we don't believe in democracy. Hello? Do you really we care for your one or two? We are an Arab. People say yes, we say no. People say no, we say yes. You never learned until now, brother? Do you think we believe in voting, brother? Who disagree with the Prophet Muhammad? You? Chop his head. Who else? All of you agree now? Okay. Mashallah, mashallah. Because the Prophet is so wise. Put the head of that guy there, you know, throw him away. Yeah, just put it in the top of the table so they can see it. Hmm. Yeah, in the top of the stick so everybody can see next time. Uh -huh. Now, anyone disagree with the Prophet? Nobody, right? Exactly. When a guy, he came to Omar and he asked him a question about the Quran. Do you know what Omar he did to him? He did beat him until the guy almost he died. Who dare to ask questions after today? Nobody. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody. Da -da -da nobody. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody know, nobody. Muhammad by poison, he died. And magic was placed on him. So the Hajwa story is a lie. You know, how the Prophet, he died. How the Prophet, he died. Any Muslim knows? By poison. So how this guy is saying, if you eat Hajwa, in the morning, and he do that every morning, yet he die by magic. Hello? Hmm? Do you see it? Sahihul Bukhari. 
the prophet in his element in which he died used to say, Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, I feel the pain, I feel the pain, oh, mommy, oh, mommy, going through, going through, oh, mommy, I feel the pain. Where was Allah, the one who protect Muhammad? You know, the funny, the Muslim, they say that Allah, he saved the Isa from the Jews. Why Allah did not save Muhammad from the Jews? Because the woman who killed Muhammad here is a Jew. Huh? Ustad of Indonesia. I don't know which answer you want to give me for all those things you say I said but I assure you you will never give me an answer for you are a potato and you are making fun of those poor Indonesian Muslims who they need God help they are poor already and you are sucking their blood lying to them and you claim that you have answers but yet none of you dare to prove me wrong Prophet Muhammad died naturally Mr. Muhammad Qasim saying that uh, Qadir that a prophet of Allah died naturally. That's mean Aisha she did lie. And Muhammad is a liar. Because the one who said, I feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar at this time, I feel as if it's my orta being cut off. So you are saying to me, Aisha and Muhammad are a bunch of liars and Muhammad died naturally. Thank you very much for saying that. And this is exactly what we are saying. Muhammad is crazy, man. You cannot trust what he say. Thank you, Qadir. I really give me your hand, your hand, man, not your tail. Yeah, yeah. this is not okay. Your hand. Oh, you cannot touch me. I'm sorry because you are a Muslim, right? Hmm. Yeah, it's your prophet saying that, and you are telling me he died naturally. What's wrong with you? Even your prophet words you don't respect no more. Shame on you. If I know the phone number of your daddy, I will call your daddy. Let me go Zach and Nag for you. Get the print. I told you to call me. Zach and Nag, take it easy, man. Do you know what the time is now? Uh, oh, uh, it's late there. Exactly. And you call me over there in the middle of the night. Uh, but I thought you would be praying to Allah now because supposedly the Prophet, he says, the best of you is the one who pray all night. So are you telling me you were sleeping, not praying? Actually, I was praying. And thank you very much for calling me. But a second ago, you were upset and you said I wake you up. I wasn't telling the truth. Because I'm very humble and I don't fear my humble praying to Allah. Ah, okay. So, uh, why the Prophet says he died by poison? First of all, the story about the Prophet dying by poison is true. But you need to remember the poison which killed the prophet is more powerful than the poison which killed the usually animal. Um, are you saying that this poison who killed the prophet which killed rats is not the same? Exactly. So the women should not use rat poison, right? Exactly, Christian Brent. For the first time, you are being smart. So what the women should use as poison to kill the prophet? If it's not the poison for rat you can get from Walmart, which one she used? He knew the spittle poison, and this poison can be found only in the desert. Uh -huh. So you are saying that this poison is very powerful, right? Exactly. And uh, <clears throat> why Allah did not protect the Prophet from the poison? In the Quran said, in chapter 18, but that's the thing. It said that if Allah will, Allah will happen. If what, what? If Allah will, Allah will happen. If Allah will, Allah will, will happen. May Allah will you. So are you saying to me it's Allah who killed Muhammad? Exactly. So, uh, uh, but, but it says that the one who killed Muhammad is the Jews, the Jewish women, not Allah who put the poison. Exactly. Allah he used the Jewish women to put the poison to kill the Prophet. Okay, so why the Allah he? Use the Jewish women to kill the Prophet because Allah He said that Allah He will send the enemy of the Prophet. Ah, he will send enemies, and those are sent by Allah exactly. And you are ignorant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
<sighs> Thank you, Zachary Naik, for your response. Allah, He sent enemies to His prophets. He appoint enemy to His prophet. Chapter six, verse one twelve. Can you believe such a garbage? Shaitan, he worked for Allah. And Allah sent Shaitan against his prophet. Who is saying so? Muhammad saying so. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍّ عَدُوًّا شَيَاطِينَ الْإِنْسَ وَالْجِنِّ We appointed so evil of shaitan is appointed by Allah. He is the biggest devil. And the proofs in front of you. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I'm losing my voice. So I'm not going to keep talking until we lose it. So I really appreciate all of you. And let us all of us pray for the safety of the world. Pray for the Muslims, for their safety. Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, everybody in this earth. Pray as Jesus, he asked you to pray. Pray and be faithful. Pray, pray and be loving. Don't pray like Muhammad and the way, the way he taught to teach hate. Love the Muslims. Pray for all mankind. Pray for their safety. Today the world is going through a very hard time. And we need the prayer of the Lord. So we can fight such an evil time we are facing. Soon we will have the Easter time for those who celebrate the Western calendar. And uh, maybe we should explain why people have Easter calendar and Western calendar. This is just a calendar. Otherwise, both of us in East and West celebrate still the Easter. It's just about agreement about the date by the calendar, not this agreement about what happened. So. Soon we will have the Easter, and the Easter bring resurrection. And we pray that the Lord will resurrect the world and bring them to their mindset, which they can really go back to God. Bring them back to be faithful, truthful. We have a lot of sin happening in this earth. And more sin we have, more illness we get, more garbage we suffer from. The more we stay from God, the more we are alone standing against all kind of evil so we seek god help god protection we pray for all mankind including the muslims and those who hate me and those who loves me i pray for all of your safety and i say the lord he loved the world and for that reason he sent his only begotten son for he loved the world which means he loved the muslims he loved the hindus he loved the christian he loved all of us the question is do we love him from their fruits you shall know them the words of the messiah the word of the wisdom show us your fruits i will tell you who you are thank you god bless you and we will try i will try to come back again at night either in this account or in the quality of life account if not tomorrow christ is lord islam is false and god bless you.